right here is an old project that I showed a long time ago in another video. So this is finally nearing completion. It is a carry lead body FTA on a custom chassis that I've put together along with a bunch of custom details, some of which you can very plainly see here. I've replaced the old cast in grills with some fully see-through etched grills, which I think really gives us a sharper appearance. The uh, I've also added the etched grills up here, but couldn't get a see-through effect on those just because of the way the body's molded or cast. I was able to make these see-through though, and after I've finished painting, I'll add some little fans in there. And as for other details, I've just got some of your basic grab rails around here made from brass wire, few in front. I'm not going into too much detail with it, just enough to make it look good. I 3D printed these uh, number boards here because this will be painted in the cotton belt or uh, St. Louis Southwestern Black Widow, which was part of the Southern Pacific. And then it's also just got the metal ladders on it, so it's metal all around, except for just these few plastic little pieces. And inside, I have added a modified GSB F unit cab interior, further improving the appearance of the thing. The modification I had to make, I'll show you in just a little bit, but I had to cut out the center of the floor to clear the Kato truck. And when this, when this is um, all painted, I'll also add a headlight and window glass, and I think this will look really good in the end. And around the back, I've also got just a little more detail, the MU cables here. There's no lift bar because uh, on these, the, these, as far as I know, were always made as AB units. I've only got an A unit, but the FTs were linked by a draw bar instead of couplers, so there was no coupler lift bar on the back, unless you had A unit only, which, again, on this particular railroad, I think they only had AB sets, so I may get a B unit eventually. So now let's have a look inside. So here's the chassis I've put together. This is a heavily modified Athern F unit frame. I've cut the fuel tank short to match the um, fuel tank on the FT and give a proper truck clearance. The FT had the rear truck closer to the back of the engine. In fact, pretty much all the way up against the back. And then the front truck is also quite a bit farther back than on the later F units, so that all had to be completely modified. I also had to cut out the front here in order to fit the carry lead body. And the trucks, they're uh, made by Kato. I believe they were made for Concor, but they're Kato trucks. They even have the little brand and everything printed on half the gears and other parts. These motors came out of um, old CD drives. They were tray ejection motors. I matched the speed on these two because I've got a whole bunch of them and added a one inch flywheel to each one. Because of differences in shaft sizes, I was having trouble getting them balanced and drilling a bunch of holes and refilling holes, as you can see, until it was just right. And that turned out to make it run nice and smooth with some good coasting ability. And then the universals there are drive tubing with a thick brass wire in the middle to keep it stiff. The truck side frames I modified the trucks in order to hold these old Athern metal side frames, which are a better match for the FT. And they also help to add some weight and still allow electrical pickup, just like the old Kato side frames with their um, pickup plates did. So that all worked out real nicely. I just drilled a hole in the top of each one to stick a metal pin in there so I can easily disconnect them whenever I need to do maintenance. This turned out to be a nice runner, and with that lead body, it's very, very powerful. Got a lot of traction. And right here, you can see my modified GSB cab interior. They have a lot of metal parts in there, as well as plastic for the main structure. So I had to cut out a lot of the floor in order to fit over that, just the way you see there. It allows enough clearance going that way so the truck can rotate 
enough to fit an 18 inch radius. So that all worked out very well. So really all that's left is painting and lettering and finding a way to add the front and rear couplers, which I think I can do with maybe some 3D printed parts. All right, so I just finished doing the 3D modeling on some uh, coupler supports to fit to the frame and to the body. So I'll print these out now and see how these work. All right, I think those turned out well. Let's see how they do. Well, with just a little bit of filing around the corners, these supports are a perfect fit for the frame and body. I even managed to get the couplers mounted at the right height. I used number 158 KD scale size whisker couplers because the uh, whisker type centering springs give more room to work so I could get the coupler on the back a little closer to the truck. Helps it look a little better. And they come with the uh, snap together um, coupler boxes so you can remove the lid for um, maintenance or anything else you may need. And that makes it a lot easier to mount the body because I can set it on there and then just uh, put the coupler in place in front and snap the lid on. And that worked out perfectly. So now it's time to get on to painting. And now skipping ahead, here's the fully painted model. I decided to go ahead and paint the motors and flywheels on this as well as the chassis, since they're very visible through the ventilation. And I think the body turned out very nicely in the Black Widow scheme. Um, the top part of the nose is actually brush painted, so I'm actually kind of proud of how well that turned out. And I think the ventilation painted up real nicely. We got some thin window glass installed in there, painted some gray in the interior to go with the uh, interior detail, and I also put in some fans that were leftovers from one of my other kits, and even managed to find a lens that fit nicely in there. So that turned out nice. So now the next thing will be um, adding in a headlight and getting this thing assembled and finished. Well, the headlight's in place. I put a diode on there and just uh, kind of tacked it on with some super glue and baking soda. And I've already tested everything out and it's working real nicely. So now I'll just place the body on top. Front coupler's installed. And since the body doesn't have any way of mounting with screws, I've used some glue to tack it in place at certain points around the frame. And with that, this project that I started years ago is finally finished, and I'd say it turned out really nicely. So I think you can see there that this has turned out to be a very smooth and strong runner. That carry lead body combined with the two motors, metal chassis, Cotto trucks, and then the extra weight from those old metal Atherin side frames has given it plenty of weight, so I bet it could probably pull out four or five times more than what I've got behind it now. The paint job, along with the details, really turned out great, and I'm really happy with how this whole thing's come out.